Hi everyone, I'm Deb. Recently, I was in Woodstock, New York with my husband, Mike. We stopped off at a farmer's market and we saw this woman selling homemade raspberry jam and we were like, oh my God, we gotta get some. And then we walked away and we were like, uh, we don't know that woman. We don't know that woman's home. Wouldn't we be better off at a grocery store where they made it at a factory with regulations? I bought my friend's daughter a gift card and I was like, don't spend it all in one place. And then I was like, wait, you have to. You have to spend it all in one place. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a one part plaster mold. The beauty of making a mold is that you can repeat the form again and again. And for me, it's particularly helpful here because I wanted to focus on the surface design. In another video, I'll show you how I pour casting slip into this mold and create the same mug again and again. It's the easiest mold you can make. Essentially, I throw a mug upside down on the wheel and I pour plaster on top of that. The mold I'm going to be making today is for a mug. This mug. And this mug. And this one. This is only one way to make a one part mold. Next time I will show you a different way to make a one part mold using cuddle boards. And that mold will be to reclaim some of my wet clay. Be careful that what you wanna use doesn't have any undercuts or else you won't be able to release your item from the mold and also don't use anything that if got destroyed, you would be brokenhearted about. Let's go get started. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to see me cast this mold when it dries and to be informed when part two of one part mold making continues. I said to Mike, what would you do if I did magic tricks all the time? And he said, I wonder what your husband would think of that. 